The police investigating this say it appears that the gunman legally owned the pistol that he used to kill. Witnesses say that he came here to this yoga studio as if he was going to be a student taking a class, walked in, put his gym bag down, then reached in, pulled out a pistol and began shooting. This morning, troubling new details are emerging about the man responsible for the deadly shooting at a Tallahassee yoga studio. Police identifying the gunman as 40-year-old Scott Paul Beerley. Authorities say he killed two people on Friday and shot five others before taking his own life. It appears Beerley posted dozens of misogynistic and racist videos on YouTube. The videos, which were not widely viewed, have been removed by YouTube because of their offensive content. According to arrest records, Beerley had a history of harassing women in Florida. According to one Tallahassee police incident report, in 2012, he was arrested for battery for grabbing girls' butts near FSU's campus. A 2016 arrest report for battery states that Beerley approached a woman at a Tallahassee area pool and slapped her butt, grabbed it, and shook it. Both charges were eventually dropped. Sunday night, tears and prayers at a community gathering to remember the victims. 61-year-old FSU faculty member Dr. Nancy Van Vessem and 21-year-old FSU student Maura Binkley. It's parents' worst nightmare. Maura's father, Jeff Binkley, attended the vigil with Maura's mother. It's inexplicable. It's incomprehensible. With this horrible experience, yes. you want to say? So I want to say enough is enough. Police say at this stage in the investigation, there appears to be no link between the victims and the shooter. Do you want to know why? I, I think at some point the why is not terribly relevant to me, except in the context of this, that there were certain behaviors that were exhibited over time. When people exhibit those, we have to come up with a better way to address them to protect the innocent people in our society. Maura's father says his daughter, who was close to graduation, was hoping to get a Fulbright scholarship or go to Germany to continue her studies to keep her German fluency and improve it. The five victims who were wounded in the shooting here have now all been released from the hospital.